To understand what wind chill is, we need to examine the second law of thermodynamics, which talks about heat and energy transfer in order to reach a state of equilibrium. To find that balance, the law says an object that is hotter must release heat to an object that is cooler. So say we're out and about, our internal core temperature is right around 97 degrees, but say the air temperature is freezing. It's a 32 degree day, so the hotter object starts to release this heat energy into the air to regulate. However, there's this little layer that forms around our bodies where that temperature is regulating. It's going from the hot to cold, so it doesn't feel so bad. We get this thermal protective layer, kind of like an insulated barrier around our body. Well, now cue the wind. If we have a windy day that blows that protective layer and our body is exposed, so our body that's already cooling off to match the air temperature is now hit with that 32 degree air without any protection. So it feels much colder. You get more wind, our body is even cooler. And again, it's hit with that 32 degrees. It feels colder and colder and colder. Colder, and thus we get the wind chill.